Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to discuss subject of the formula. Now what subject of the formula means is basically you are solving for an unknown but as you are solving there are many other unknowns in the equation. What you must remember is to always try and keep your eye on what they need you to solve. So if I say make R the subject of the formula. I want R to be alone. Now, it's like you're babysitting. When you're babysitting, the child with the ice cream you leave alone and you try and take everything else away. So I'm going to try and get rid of the third first. It's 1 over 3. The relationship there is multiplication. Now there's two ways of doing this. I can times it by 3 over 1 or I can divide it by 1 over 3. A lot of children see this as multiplication, so we advise them to divide it by 1 over 3. So you can cancel. Now, if you divide it by 1 over 3, look at what happens here. You have a number over a fraction. Therefore, it is advisable to look at the question differently. Let us take the same question. But instead of writing it as v is equal to 1, 3, pi, r squared, h. Look at how I am writing it. 1 over 3 is a fraction. The 3 is actually at the bottom. But because we wrote it like this, we don't see it as being a division line. Now we see it as division, so if I want to get rid of it, I can multiply it by 3, which is easier. So I multiply this by 3, so I get 3v. If you had divided by a third here, and you end up with v divided by a third, it's actually the same answer, but it looks untidy. Because if you learned in your previous fractions, we said, if I said v divided by 1 over 3, you then multiply and you swap the 1 on your right hand side and we end up with 3v. But look how much time this method takes and how much time the second method takes. So it is advisable that when you have a fraction, rewrite it with the 3 under. So you can multiply and get it alone. Now continuing with our question. Now we've got rid of the 3. The next thing we want to get rid of is the pi and the h. Because it is multiplying, I am going to divide so they can cancel. But what you do on one side, you do on the other side. So I'm going to divide by pi and h. Now I have r squared is equal to 3v over pi h. At last, you get rid of what is closest to the unknown. In this case, r squared. So how do we get rid of a square? The opposite of a square is a square root. What you do on one side, you do on the other side. Now the square can cancel the root, leaving us with r. There's nothing to cancel this root, so you cannot get rid of it. So your final answer is 3v over pi h. When you are doing subject of the formula, this is important if you are a science pupil. Subject of the formula comes quite often in science, but not that often in maths. However, it is good to know as it becomes handy in simultaneous equations. Thank you for watching.